What's good, Grey Gang? Just like I promised, it is mail time, 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 time. But I got this box right here. It says open on camera. I'll just let you know, guys. Like, here, I'm just gonna show you, okay? Like, straight up, all this mail right here, got some over here, all that stuff, and this box over here, all that over there. Like, listen, guys, we got a lot of mail. And I just wanna let y'all know before we start, that way, you know, nobody gets mad. It's literally, like, not even possible to open everybody's on camera. So what I am gonna do is, you know, I'm gonna open all that I can on camera, you know, just, you know, yeah. But I just want to let you know, whether you sent the biggest box here or the smallest little postcard, hey, all of it's appreciated, all of it's opened, just, you know, we're not going to be able to get it on camera just because, well... There's a lot of it. Thanks to you guys, there is a lot of Christmas gifts for me. I'm telling you, like, guys, the Grey Gang is strong right now. But anyways, we're going to open up this first one. This first one is from James O'Clum or Odom. But anyways, here we go. We're going to cut it straight down the middle, try not to damage anything inside. And let's see what we got in here. Okay, the first thing I see is a fresh pack of trick worms right here from Zoom, of course. Then we got, oh my, what? What is this? Oh, okay. It's a gun sock. So I can like put a gun in there and it won't get beat up and scratched and stuff. So, hey, and I definitely needed that. I may even put that on the 870 right here in a second. Next up in here, we have one of the thinnest, smallest, scariest knives I've ever saw in my life. Now, I'm nearly positive that this style of knife is actually called a toothpick. And if you don't know why it's called a toothpick, well, it's sort of a little, you know, self-explanatory. That is a thin knife, my friend. Also in here, we got a flashlight. And some treats for some dogs. But anyways, guys, we got a lot of mail here, so we got to start moving quick. This in here is from Mason Gay. He sent quite a lot of fishing gear and this knife right here. Next up here, this one is from Braden Paget. We got some gloves here for skin and stuff. A little pack of soft plastics and something pretty awesome in here. Oh, two things pretty awesome in here. We got one, a squirrel tail, and two, a fidget spinner. Both of these, I need to show you something about. With the squirrel and the fidget spinners, these two actually have their own collection box. Like, we've had so many squirrel tails that now squirrel tails have their own box and fidget spinners just the same. We both have, you know, well, that even lights up. What in the world? But yeah, guys, if you really want to send me some, hey, feel free to send some fidget spinners or some squirrel tails. If you're going to send squirrel tails, I do ask of one thing. Please, if you want to send a squirrel tail, Cut the tail, like, not up on the squirrel. And just, if you can, try not to have a lot of, like, you know, rotten meat on the tail. Because I will say one thing. I have received a few with, you know, a little bit too much meat on the tail side. And, uh, well, yeah, they stink, boys. They stink. But anyways, on to the next. Which is from Cole Perkins. Inside here, I have got a pack of, you know, like, a uh, oh, what do you call it? Little Strike King swimming flukes there. And two packs of peanut butter crackers. This next one here from Charlie Pyre looks like we got a booyah boogie. And it's a good one, too. This next thing coming from Andrew Martin. Ooh. We got a KVD splash popper right here. Some beetle spins. Ooh. And some taff ounce tungsten sinkers. I'll be completely honest with my opinion on tungsten, guys. Like, tungsten's great and everything, but I don't trust myself to use them. Like, they're just so expensive. And, you know, like, I just break off a lot, especially on them dang sycamores. This next one here coming all the way from Missouri from Andrew Amber. I got a shirt and a whole lot of more stuff. Good fishing stuff right in here. These next two coming right here. This one is from does not have a name on it. I mean, that's not their name or anything. It just like it doesn't have a name on it. His name is not actually doesn't have a name on it. I mean, if you ask me. That'd be a pretty weird, that'd be a pretty weird name. However, it doesn't have a name on it. Actually sent me quite a bit of fishing stuff in there. Now this next one does have a name on it, and it's from Kurt Gray. Oh my, what in the world? We got some blades in here! And I ain't talking about a knife either. I'm talking about broadheads. Now, I don't know what brand these are because it doesn't say on it. But, hey, I'm still going to pull them out and we're going to look at them pretty close anyhow. These are definitely different and scary. I will say that. They may be, I don't know. Look at them, though. They look really cool. I mean, in a way, they sort of look like Rage. But, I mean, I'm not exactly sure. It doesn't say on the package or anything. And also in that pack, we got some swimming dingers. Okay, here we go. We got a big one. It is from Cameron Norris. Now I'm not gonna be surprised if something jumps out and bites me, but we're just going to have to, we're just going to, have to wait and see, okay? Because that's not promised, and it's also not not promised. But here we go. I'm angling y'all down for this one. I'm gonna get a second knife right over here, just in case something tries to jump out. But anyways, here we go. Ah! 
Okay, okay, okay. I think we're good. I think we're good. Yep, there ain't nothing live in here. Not this time. But I can smell something funky. So it, if we have fur in here, I will not be surprised because I can smell it. Oh, yeah, and there's a big spro crankbait right there. We got all kinds of stuff in here. Oh, that's what was smelling, boys. Oh, boys, we got some catfish dough bait right here. I knew I smelled something funky. <laughs> and that is it. That there is exactly what I smell. But he did send me an eye grill, which definitely makes up for that nose pain, okay? I'll smell it again if another one's in here. But, yep, that is some strong stuff, okay? That is some strong stuff. If I do not post a video Monday... It's because I died from the smell of that stuff. Cause it is, oh man, you'll, oh. Let's hope I don't die though, cause you know, I got a banger coming. But basically, I'm gonna tilt y'all back down, but this thing is full of candy. We got some Reese Cups, which are honestly my favorite candy right now. We got some sweet tarts, some Butterfingers, some Tootsie Rolls, some Crunch Bars. He even threw in a wiffle ball with the deal. Next here, we got this pretty thick package here from Dustin Burley, and you know what? Let's just shake it and see what it sounds like. Okay, that is definitely a good sign. Rattling packages are almost good as rattling snakes. Oh, yeah, man. Yes, a fidget spinner. This one's camo. I'm actually pretty sure this is the first camo one I've ever received. What we got here? We got some Lunker Lotion. Oh, this is like for, this is like some bait, bait scent right here. Yeah, that's what it is, but still, that's a pretty cool name, okay? Lunker Lotion? Next up, we got one coming from Luke Stringer here. Let's, um, uh, yeah, crack it right open. That is a big spoon. Two and a quarter ounces? Bruh, what is this even for? Look at this thing. Like, that's a giant... Piece of metal. And he also sent me this shirt right here. Now we're getting on to a pretty big box. This in here is from Cody Norris. Let's shake it just a little bit. Okay, that's a good sound. Ah! It's a Frisber. Whoa. Oh, boys, and they got another spinning reel right here. Can you believe it? Oh, and it's another Abu Garcia. We got two Abu Garcia fishing spinning reels in one sitting. One, one sitting. That's pretty crazy. And the Baseball. And another baseball. Just kidding, guys. This is a Reese cup. And now we're moving on to, I actually think this is the last package, but, uh, you know, from Walker Rock. And don't worry, guys. It is by far the biggest package here. Oh, whoa, boys. Bro, are you serious right now? I don't even know what this is. But it's awesome. Then right here, I think we got a... Infrared what in the world? We got an infrared thingy. Bruh, the camera is 74 degrees right now. And my forehead is 97 degrees, which makes, a, you know, quite a lot of sense. Let's see how much that dang bait is. Okay, it's 69 degrees, and it stinks, okay? Let's see the temperature of you. Okay, you're not in 98, you know. 98.6 is average body temperature. You're 98 degrees. You're good. You're not gonna die today, hopefully. But like, bro, what is this? The wall's 66 degrees. The tripod is 68 degrees. I've never had so much power in my life. But that's not all he sent. He also sent this like, oh, blue flashlight. Woo, 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 woo. A brand new pair of fishing glasses. Oh, there's no way. A red dot? Are you serious? And a red dot. He sent me a true glow red dot. Boom. But wait, there's more. He sent me this thingy. Woo. But wait, the, whoa, what is that? Oh, and another fidget spinner. And he also sent these two gloves. But they ain't just gloves. They're heavy. What is this? Like, I don't even know what this is. He sent me this fishing scale with a tape measure and with this scary pointy thing sticking out of it. Like, look at that. That could kill somebody. Look at this knife, boys. This knife right here was in the other glove. Just look at that right there for a second. Oh, boys, just look at that. And these gloves right here are just as awesome as everything else in these. These are not low-quality gloves, okay? These are the real deal. Okay, Grey Gang, so as you may be noticing, I have a different shirt on than when I done the mail time. The reason is because it's actually a totally different day, but it's actually time for the verse of the week. But anyways, I just want to let you know, looky here, your boy, Kendall 
Uncle Gray. He's over here. He's prepared. He's got notes. He's ready to give you some good good to get your week kick started in the right way. But anyways, generally on Saturdays, we do a verse of the week. I, I pick out a verse that, you know, I really like, and then I describe what it's talking about. But last week, and what I, what's actually happening this week, is it's not a particular verse. It's more like a Bible story, and then somewhat converted into the real world with today's time. But today's overall story is David and Goliath, but it's mainly about how David started from the bottom, now he's there. Okay, so here's a real quick recap of David's life. Okay, so he started at the bottom. He was a shepherd. He was young. He wasn't, you know, he wasn't the strongest man. He wasn't nowhere near John Cena. He was just, you know, he was a boy. So, you know, there he was. He was watching sheep. But whenever he was watching sheep, he done some Daniel Boone-like activities, okay? He had to fight off lions, tigers, and bears. And did I mention lions? Like, for real. Lions are scary. Now, as you may know, David, he strived to be the best person he could be. He was even known as the person after God's own heart. Or it was something like that, but very close. Like, he was as perfect as humanly possible. And as he got a little bit older, he actually, you know, got fairly up there. And he got up into the army some way or another. And then he got put up against the man named Goliath. Now, let me put this into perspectives that you may understand. Here's David. And then here's Goliath, okay? Pretty big difference. Now, way back whenever David was out there washing his sheep, he had no idea that God was actually preparing him for this moment to where he would fight Goliath. He had no idea he would be put in this situation. And he also had no idea that he was literally being prepared by God for this situation. Now, you may be asking, how is it, how was he being prepared? Now, even from the youngest age, one of the ways that God had been preparing David for this moment was, well, like I said earlier, lions, tigers, and bears. At the moment, lions, tigers, and bears didn't look any Anything like Goliath. However, it was God's way of secretly preparing David for what he would do in the future. And the best part about that is that David didn't complain not one time. He had faith in God, and you know, if God was going to throw lions, tigers, and bears at David, David put up with the lions and tigers and bears in faith that he knew God would bring everything in the right direction in the end. And that's even how it can reflect on us today. We may be going some through something crazy, and we're like, this doesn't even make sense. But in all reality, you may not see the purpose in things God has sent you to do now. You may not understand why God wants you to do this. And God may not even tell you why he wants you to do what he's telling you to do. But the thing is, is that no matter if you know why you're doing it or not, if God tells you to do something, don't ask questions. Just do it. Because just like David right here, he didn't ask questions whenever he was fighting off lions, tigers, and bears. He just done it, okay? He just done it. And that preparation, him just just doing it, you know, not sponsored by Nike or anything, but he just done it. When David just done it, it was actually preparing him big time what would come later as Goliath. So basically, to recap what I'm telling you is that stuff may be happening to you right now. It You you may not see any purpose in it whatsoever, but be patient. Just stick through it and just do it. Because what's happening in your life now, whether you realize it or not, is really just preparing you for something bigger and better in the future. So anyways, people, if that helped you anyway, at all, please tell me in the comments because, like, you know, hey, I wrote two pages on this and I need some encouragement for next week. But for real, guys, if you like this, go down and tell me in the comments, you know, tell me what you thought about the, you know, the lesson today. Smack the like button because, you know, hey, when is it never not a good time to smash the like button on my channel? I mean, hey, why not, you know? But, anyways, but, anyways, that makes the eighth time I've said, but, anyways, there goes nine. But, anyways, there's ten. Anyways, and before I say bye, I just want to let you know. Remember what I said and put it into action throughout the week. And then next week, come back and tell me how it worked for you. See you later for real this time. If you're not part of the Grey Gang, go ahead and subscribe by hitting the button on the top right. And feel free to watch some of my past videos on the left. As always, favorite squad, post it up, down low. If you want some of this sweet merch, head on over to kennelgrey1.com or the link in the description. But besides that, I'll catch you later in tomorrow's video.